Hello and welcome to our full ship tour of Enchanted Princess. We're going to start our tour on deck 5 which is the lowest passenger deck aboard this ship and is the deck you'll embark on right into Enchanted Princess's stunning piazza which spans decks 5 to 7. On the port side of deck 5 in the piazza you can wet your whistle at the good spirits at sea bar. If you're feeling peckish after a few drinks at good spirits you can head next door to the international cafe which serves hot and cold bites to eat from early morning through to late in the evening. This was our place of choice for breakfast as we could grab a great latte and a proper egg and cheese muffin each morning. Opposite the International Cafe you have the Salty Dog Gastro Pub. Salty Dog serves a decent range of whiskies, craft cocktails and other beverages as well as a mouth-watering food menu. This is also a casual speciality dining venue charged at $18 per person for two gourmet plates which include dishes such as a gourmet burger and lobster mac and cheese. Fancy an ice cream? There is no better place than gelato. Enchanted Princess's very own ice cream parlour. Also in the piazza on deck 5, starboard side, you have the port shop, where you can grab over-the-counter medicines, souvenirs and home comforts such as Pringles and Maltesers at inflated prices. If you're not smartphone savvy but need to check your emails then head over to the internet cafe located midship starboard side on deck 5. If you experience difficulty with the ship's Wi-Fi, which to be fair is a strong possibility on this ship, then this is the place to go. This is Santorini, one of the three main dining venues on board Enchanted Princess. Santorini is beautifully decorated and has a great ambience as a dining venue, serving tasty dishes from all over the world. Remaining on deck 5 and forward of the piazza you'll find Sabatini's, which is the Italian specialty restaurant aboard Enchanted Princess, serving dishes from all over Italy including burrata cheese and tomato, calamari, linguine carbonara and sol piccata. This venue is not to be missed. Sabatini's is charged at £25 per person and operates by booking only, which can either be done in person or through the medallion app, if you're lucky. Across from Sabatini's you have guest services. You can also find a shore excursion desk where you can book all of those shore excursions and have peace of mind that you'll get back to the ship safely before the ship slips her lines. At the forward end of deck 5 you have the incredible Lotus Spa. Featuring a state of the art beauty salon and an overwhelming amount of treatment rooms, this is where you can treat yourself to a massage before the formal night. The Lotus Spa also has the Enclave, which is the largest ever hydrotherapy and thermal spa in the Princess fleet. Here you'll be able to experience the sensational hydrotherapy pool with therapeutic air jets and cascading rain showers, as well as heated orthopaedic beds to realign your spine. When it comes to the thermal suite, you can choose between four different types of Turkish and Roman inspired steam rooms and saunas, which are nothing short of incredible. And as for the showers, they are the very best we've ever used. Each shower has its own flow of water and releases its own aroma and ambient sound. The Lotus Bar is the pinnacle of relaxation and rejuvenation aboard Enchanted Princess 
and he's certainly worth the $49 per person daily charge. Remaining at the forward end, but now on deck 6, you'll find the Princess Theatre. Seating close to a thousand passengers and spanning decks 6 and 7, this is the main entertainment venue on board, hosting anything from West End style shows to tribute acts and comedians. The Princess Theatre operates on a first come, first served basis, but if you'd like to guarantee yourself a seat, just book through the Medallion app. This is Churchill's Smoking Lounge, where you can wind down with a drink and a cigar after dinner if that's your thing. Cigarette smoking was permitted here during our cruise. Welcome to Take 5, the bar and lounge which allows you to relive the roots of jazz each and every evening. Ever since this venue debuted on Sky Princess, it has become a fleet-wide favourite for its personal service, sumptuous surroundings and its signature gin cocktails. This is a bar and lounge not to be missed. Do you like a gamble? Well, you'll love the casino aboard Enchanted Princess. It's massive. It features a variety of different table games, including roulette and blackjack, as well as your favorite slot machines. If you love sushi, then you'll love the Ocean Terrace. This venue is a specialty restaurant where passengers are charged for each dish that they order and operates on a first come, first serve basis. If we could give you a tip, it would be try and get a seat at the bar so you can watch the talented sushi chefs prepare your meal right in front of you. Kroonah's Bar is the place for marvellous martinis and melodies, where you can be transported to the classic Sinatra era, complete with a top-notch pianist. Kroonah's has its own list of signature martinis, as well as some old-school mixed drinks to match the atmosphere of this iconic bar. Next to Kroonah's on the starboard side of Deck 6, you have the Captain's Circle Loyalty Desk and Future Crew Centre. On the port side of Deck 6 in the Piazza, you'll find the Art Gallery, the Photo Gallery, and some of the fine shops available on Enchanted Princess. After the piazza, you have Capri, which is another of the main dining venues on this beautiful ship. And all the way aft of Deck 6, you have the third and last main dining venue called Amalfi. Amalfi also hosts Chef's Table Lumiere, which is a unique dining experience charged at $95 per person. Lumiere can host up to 12 lucky diners each evening, whom will embark on a culinary journey, with dishes prepared and overseen by the ship's executive chef. This is the perfect venue for those that appreciate premium dining on that special occasion. We're now on Deck 7 aft in the Vista Lounge. This entertainment venue plays host to comedians, music acts and fun game shows put on by the ship's entertainment team. If you love steak and seafood, then you must try the Crown Grill, as it's one of the best steakhouses at sea that we've tried. Charged at $29 per person, this venue is so good that it gets booked up months before a cruise, so if you're keen to put our view of it to the test, try and book through the Medallion app weeks before your cruise, because it will sell out. <laughs> Thank you.
love karaoke? Then you'll love Princess Live, which puts on karaoke, quizzes and game shows each and every evening, and activities such as bingo and port talks during the day. You also have Princess Live Cafe, where you can grab a speciality coffee or an alcoholic beverage throughout the day, before you nip to the ocean front, which is where you can receive help on using the Medallion app. Trust us, you'll definitely be visiting here a few times during your cruise. On the starboard side of Deck 7, at the top of the piazza, you have Gigi's, which is the casual and inclusive pizzeria aboard Enchanted Princess. This venue operates by a first-come, first-served basis and serves a delicious variety of Italian classic pizzas or you can choose the toppings yourself. Placed at the centre line of the piazza on deck 7 is Bellini's, the bar which serves cocktails and other drinks inspired by Italian romance apparently. This is a great venue to come and watch the entertainment that's taking place in the heart of the ship. Bistro Salomea is the French speciality restaurant on board Enchanted Princess, with dishes created by three-star Michelin chef Emmanuel Renault. This venue is charged at $29 per person and serves dishes including oeuf molle frontine, which is egg, cheese and mushrooms to you and I, and fish and chips, which I am pretty sure was English the last time I checked. But not to worry, they serve you some lovely fish fingers on a fancy napkin. Enjoy. Located forward of the piazza on deck 7, you have a wide range of princess shops which sell clothing to duty frees and perfumes from to luxury designer jewellery. Deck 8 through to 15 are all passenger cabins, so we're going to take the lift and continue our tour midship on Deck 16. Slice is the poolside pizzeria aboard Enchanted Princess and serves not just the best pizza on board, but at sea. It's even won awards for it. Next to Slice you have the Mix Bar, where you can grab your favourite iced cocktail including pina coladas and strawberry daiquiris. Not to be confused with the Salty Dog Gastro Pub, the Salty Dog Grill is the poolside fast food joint serving burgers, hot dogs, chips and nachos for lunch and early dinner. This venue is also included as part of your cruise fare. At the midship of Deck 16 you have the two main pools which are a pretty decent size for cruise ship standards and are accompanied by free inviting hot tubs. Also on Deck 17 and overlooking the main pool areas you have another four hot tubs. <laughs> The main pool area is overlooked by Movies Under the Stars, which is Enchanted Princess's outdoor cinema. This movie screen plays major sporting events when they happen, and blockbuster movies by night weather permitting. Underneath Movies Under the Stars you have the Sea View Bar, another watering hole aboard this ship. Taking up almost a third of the deck space on deck 16 is the World Fresh Marketplace, which is the buffet style restaurant aboard Enchanted Princess. This is an incredible buffet, it's well laid out, spacious, features great variety for breakfast, lunch and dinner, and the quality and standard of the food is as you would expect from a premium cruise line like Princess. At 
At the very aft of Deck 16 you'll discover the Wakeview Bar and Pool, providing a much needed area to relax and unwind in the shade, or climb into the Wakeview Pool and soak up the rays with the very best view on the ship. Lining the port side for Deck 17 you have three different children's clubs. For obvious reasons we are unable to film here, but if you're somebody considering sailing aboard Enchanted Princess with a family, rest assured they won't be bored here. On the starboard side of Deck 17 aft you have the Fitness Centre, which is massive in terms of both surface area and the equipment on offer. Whether you're into cardio equipment or strength training, the Fitness Centre on this ship will allow you to have the workout you're looking for. Moving forward, you'll find the Retreat Porn Bar, which is the adults only pool area on Enchanted Princess. Fancy another hot tub? Have to. You'll find them just above the retreat pool area on Deck 18. This is the Sanctuary, the ultimate place to relax outside aboard Enchanted Princess. This is an extra charge experience which is usually around $40 per person per day and as part of that price you'll have peace, tranquility and seclusion. You can order light bites and drinks to your comfortable sun lounger, make use of the hot tubs indulge in a spa treatment or splash the cash on your own cabana and watch TV on demand. At the aft end of Deck 18, just above the fitness centre, you have the running track, where seven laps is equal to one mile. Still feeling active? Further aft you have the sports court, where you can play basketball, tennis and other sports according to the daily shipboard programme. That was our full ship tour of Enchanted Princess. As a ship, she is incredible, strikingly decorated, luxuriously appointed and possessing all of the facilities and venues a passenger could want and need on any cruise. Her pool areas are some of the cleanest and most inviting we've ever seen, and the ship has the amount of pools and hot tubs you'd expect from a ship of this size. In fact, it feels like there's hot tubs everywhere. No complaint from us though, we love them. This ship also excels in terms of accommodation. In fact, we'd go as far as to say it's the best accommodation we've ever had on a cruise ship. It's not just how beautifully decorated the accommodation is, it's the comfort and practicality you receive. It's very clear that a great deal of thought has gone into these cabins and they've hit the nail head on when it comes to what a passenger could want from a cruise ship suite or cabin. It's just a shame that they haven't listened to Cruiser's united dislike for shower curtains otherwise the mini suite we had on this ship would have been faultless. Enchanted Princess is a magnificent cruise ship, whether you're a first time cruiser or an experienced one, and it is certainly a ship we'd return to sometime in the future. If you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and TikTok as well. We look forward to seeing you next time.